What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the collective reading for everybody. What's up guys? Ah, thanks for being here. Um, this is a collective reading and I'm going to do it a little differently. So very calm, chill vibes. I got this new light bulb. Well, it's not really new, but I put it back into circulation. So to me, it's new. Um, and it has like different colors on it. So I decided to mess around with it just to get the vibes going. Um, yeah, I will be drinking my tea. Okay, because I'm very relaxed. I'm chilling and relaxing right now. This is a mug that my sister got me. Uh, she's getting married. I'm the bride. I'm the maid. <laughs> I'm the maid of honor. Uh, this is her, and that's me. Yeah, my name is Anuska. It's my real name, and yeah, it says maid of honor for a day, sister for life. Yeah, it's my uh, younger sister. I'm the oldest of three. All right. Anyway, so I will be sipping my tea throughout the reading. So. Yeah, um, I like to do things differently, so I'm going to do two sections. The first part is going to be all tarot. Um, I might use three decks, might use two. I'm going to see how I'm feeling. And then the second part is going to be only oracles. Um, same thing, I might use two, I might use three. I'm going to see how I'm feeling, all right? So, let's see. All right, spirit. Collective. What's going on? I forgot to put my uh, tablecloth on this. It's alright. I'll do it after the video. Alright, collective. Let's see. What's we have to talk about right now? Ace of Pentacles. Oh. You can't even say the kind. I didn't think this is a trial and error, guys. I gotta hold it real close. Okay. <laughs> That's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. So there's an opportunity here that didn't work out for you the way you wanted it to here. The Two of Swords. But you were indecisive about this opportunity anyway. That should that should that should have been a hint right there. If not, going forward, use that. Whatever you felt, however. Whatever situation happened, try to relate that going forward to other things because that's going to help you avoid making um, not the wrong decisions, but the decisions that will divert you from the path you're supposed to be on. You have the death card in reverse. And I feel like once you were in this, you didn't want it, you didn't want it to end here. OK, um, and I feel like it was holding you back. You have the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, you really cared about this. This could have been a family situation. Or just something that you just had a lot of emotions for. Three of Cups. Look at this. All right. This could have been a friendship situation too. But there was a lot of good times. I mean, I could see why you wouldn't want this to end. You have the Five of Cups though. But I feel like you're in regret now. And it's like, was all was all this fun worth it? Like, was it the good times worth it? It probably was, right? And that's kind of how you should look at it. Like, you know what? At least I enjoyed myself. At least I had a good time. All right? Bottom of the deck is the devil in reverse. I feel like, I don't feel like this is like a bad thing, you know, necessarily. I feel like more it's like you release something that wasn't for you. All right. It was just something that was for the meantime, something real quick, something right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So I wouldn't uh, worry too much. Maybe you be party too much, too hard. <laughs> okay. Maybe um, you could have spent too much money or something like that. So that's understandable. But, you know, don't regret it because everything happens for a reason. All right, let's see. You have the Three of Cups here. <laughs> so this could have involved a lot of people here. This could have this could have involved some friends, some family here. And like I said, like there was just a lot of celebration. Like it was just really fun. It was really fun. High vibes, high energy. Like it was really fun. Whatever this was. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, you, like, it's like, for you, it felt like there was a lot of work to decide this. It was really hard for you to, to decide what to do with this. Because I feel like you saw that it wasn't, it wasn't progressing. It was like a lack of progress. Like, it was like, maybe you saw it, you know, before it actually was happening and you like were trying to decide whether you should try to save it or not. All right, you have the fool here. I'm sorry about this light, guys. Next video, I will fix it, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like there was a new leap of faith that you wanted to take here and I feel like you just felt too connected to where you were at that you didn't want to. You didn't want to go the opposite direction. You have the Ten of Wands, yeah. And it's crazy, you have Ten Ten here, this is completion. I feel like you completed a cycle here. Um, and I feel like you completed a level and you're on to the next chapter. But it was like, it was crazy because it, it made you so happy, but it was also so much burden. Like it was, it was really challenging. But I feel like, I feel like this is the situation where you kind of let your emotions get over um the reality of the situation which happens to a lot of us we get so much involved in something emotionally that it's like we can't see it or we don't want to see it when it's like coming to an end you know the seven of wands here okay i feel like you know you you did have a lot of people you did have a lot of fun times but i also feel like as some some parts you felt like you were being, you know, attacked here or challenged by the people around you too, which could have made it hard for you to <clears throat> It's like it it's like it it made it hard for you to want to detach from this in some way. But that doesn't make sense because they were making it Maybe you liked the challenge. Maybe you liked the fact, like, proving people wrong, you know? And then you have the tower. Yeah. I feel like you feel guilty because the way it ended. It, it could have been a really drastic change or really major situation. I mean, all this partying, all these people, you know, it's like, it's crazy. The Four of Swords. Now there's peace and quiet. Now there's harmony. Now... Now you can finally relax, you know? For some of you, these people, you didn't even know they were in the energy. I'm bringing it back to my old deck. <laughs> some of you didn't even know that these people were in the energy. They were like in the background, which could be another reason why, um, you know, the devil's here. Oh, whoa. See me? This is not regular. You have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So, yeah. Like, you were really you were really nurturing this. You were really taking care of this. So, like, again, I, I know you really cared about this a lot here. Um, you could have been, like, a, like, a mother figure. Or you could have been, like, someone that's, th like, this energy looked up to. Or these people looked up to. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like no matter how how hard you tried, it still it wasn't gonna work regardless here. And the, the universe also letting me know like this was something that was fairly new, right? This could have came into your space like within the last six months. You know, like, this is something that is very new. So it's like don't um, hold yourself accountable for so for so so much. Don't feel so guilty. Okay, everything happened for a reason. We have the Page of Cups here. I feel like your intuition was telling you here to take a leap of faith. It was definitely telling you, um, hey, you know, this got to go here. You, you you have to allow yourself to move on from this. Um, th this, you know, this level of your life is not over. Let's let's go to the next chapter. But because this next chapter, you knew you couldn't bring this opportunity with you. It was like, well, let me <laughs> let me take my time getting there, okay? You have the five of pentacles here. Um, 
it's crazy because you, you had all this, you know, family love, all these emotional feelings here, all these th that you had to carry on top of ugh, everybody else. It, it kind of feels like everybody else's problems too, like the whole family problems was on your back as well. And it's like now you feel all alone. It's like now you're 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 dealing with all of this by yourself. When before you were dealing with stuff with everyone, but now you're dealing it with it by yourself. And I don't know why I feel like yeah, with the four of pentacles here. It's like it it, it I feel like you can think more clearer now. You know, because you don't have to be fighting off people. You don't have to be defending your word anymore. The problems are still there. The challenges and the burdens are still there, but they don't feel as heavy. Because you don't got everybody else's stuff with you with that as well. You have the two of swords here. Again. I think these people that, were, that you were around... Um, didn't make it easy for you or people that you are you can still be around them didn't make it easy for you here to make this choice they could have been really fighting you on it and the four of cups here all of you guys did not see this coming this was like a left turn like you were just like what because the tower it was a it was a crazy situation like it felt really you know drastic bottom of the deck is the queen of pentacles in reverse all right you definitely stop nurturing this you stop taking care of this but honestly if this drastic thing didn't happen you would have never stopped because it was just so much fun you know so yeah all right all right let's do the oracle part now Hold on, let me write something down. All right. Fuck, so, yeah, but I have to write something down. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to take my sip. I also don't edit my videos, so... Enjoyed this muffling stuff. I'm also going to cleanse the space because I like to cleanse the space between readings. Um, and I know it's the same reading, but it's different cards. I feel like oracles give different energies than tarot. So, yeah. Where is my torch? I don't know where my torch is right now. So, I'm just going to use this. I like my torch because it's faster. But we could use this. Spirit, please remove any negative energy, any negative thoughts that the collective might have. Bring more positivity and open the collective up to new beginnings and new changes. All right. Let me take my sip. All right. So... Let's see what the oracle has for the collective. Collective spirit. What's going on? Alright. You have imagination. Okay. So this card says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So I'm getting that you're manifesting something. Let's see what. What is this? You're manifesting guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. 
I feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting for, that you're asking for, you don't have faith that you're going to get it. Or a lot of you feel guilty for asking for this because maybe it's hurting someone else's feelings or it's crushing someone's dreams. You have loneliness here. Yeah, I feel like it's it's going to require you to be alone. It's going to require you to um, stand by yourself for a while. And maybe you don't want that. You have surrender. Yep. But if you really want this, you will surrender to this. Okay? Because you can't... You can't ask what you're asking for and not give something up okay whenever we manifest and we ask for things we have to be sure to be able to sacrifice something um and most of the time we can't pick what it is sometimes we already know what it is right but most of the time we can't and this is it's just got to go it just because it just has to you have self-esteem okay it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I feel like this is going to help you and someone else. Like, that's just what I'm getting with that card. Like, it's going to help you and the other energy for you to do this. And you might not see this now, but this, whatever this is, it's like, you got to let this go with the surrender card here. You know, you have to release the control of, of wanting it in your space or wanting things to go your way. Because it's like you're also stopping that energy because it's from doing their stuff, you know. You have pride as the next card. All right. So um, it says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I feel like you have to take the high road in this situation. Because you choosing you shouldn't be it shouldn't be a debate. Bottom of the deck is happiness. You're going you're gonna to choose the right path. You absolutely will. Ain't no doubt in my mind. Alright. What was that? Something just moved in there. Oh, no, no, Tim. Alright. Luck is on your side. Yep, what you're asking for, you have a very good probability of getting this. Like, yeah, you do. You got to surrender this, though. You have a fiery climax approaches, okay? You, I feel like you feel guilty now, or maybe you feel bad for asking about this because the way you're feeling, you know, you're feeling lonely and you're just like by yourself and you're like, everything sucks, but it's like, it's getting this slow period. This lonely time is getting you ready for the fireworks. Okay. You have to step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you being by yourself and you taking this journey alone is you doing something is, is it different? You've never done this before, you know? Um, it's like, it's like you can only depend on yourself. You only have yourself right now to depend on. And at the end of the day, who is more, tr who is more um, faith, more, more honest than yourself, right? To you, like who is the most trustworthy more than you? You have a personal issue reaches resolution. I feel like I just did that. Just pulled this card. Uh, yeah, once you surrender, once you let this, whatever this go, this is go, like... It's going to help you in other areas that you don't, that you didn't even think about because you holding on to this is stopping you from a lot of things that you really want. All right. You have your commitment is being tested. Right. You know, it, it's kind of like, who, who are you more loyal to yourself or other people? You should always be first. Okay. You have, it's time to take action. Yeah. I mean, get a step on it. Okay. <laughs> And get a step on it. Bottom of the deck is expect powerful change. Yep. Change is absolutely coming for you. And it's going to make you so, so happy. All right. <clears throat> Let's do the last cards.
change. Yep. Whatever this is that you're asking for is bringing in a lot of change for you. A lot. Okay. A lot. Good changes. Things are going to help you out here in areas in your life that you need the help in. Wow. This is really good. You have patience here. I feel like It's it's it, it's gonna take some time for this to come in for you here, okay? So because they want you to spend some time with yourself here and in, in, in this lonely energy and realize that you're not really lonely, right? You have everything you need. Um, I feel like it might not be what you want, but it's what you need, and that's what's most important. Okay, just be patient with it. You have truth here. You're gonna find out a lot about yourself in this time alone and this time of um away from people here. And I feel like you're going to find out some things about yourself that have always been there. It's like they've been wide in the open. You just never had the quietness, the time to yourself to actually see what this is. Um, and it's really going to make you be able to step out of your comfort zone so much easier because you're just like, listen, this this is the truth. that You're looking at yourself in, your, in the mirror and realizing something about yourself. You have power here. Okay, so it took a lot of a lot of energy, a lot of strength for you to let go of this, or it will take a lot of strength for you to let go of this. Um, but I feel like it's going to solve a lot of issues that have been happening in your life because certain energies that we keep in our space actually attract certain events to happen. Um, good or bad so i feel like this energy has attracted a lot of bad okay or just stagnant energy where nothing is changing nothing is progressing all right you have release here yeah so i love this card <laughs> um you have release here so i feel like your commitment is absolutely being tested um within yourself here and it's like <laughs> they want you to release it's like they're giving you the answer here release let go of what you need to let go of and choose yourself you have adventures here okay i feel like they want you to have fun with this i also feel there's a there's a brand new beginning coming for you here um because you chose yourself above all um and choosing yourself is a lonely road but at the end it's the happiness the change that the big change that you've been wanting look at this flow all right i love this card because this just means that things will, will be happening that you aren't going to be aware of and it's going to redirect your life and then when it does that it's redirecting it to a such a better energy than you ever thought okay um and you might be fighting it because you're just like wait no this is not what i thought but it turns out to be even better than that all right. All right. Well, that's all that I have for you guys. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.